Hi, everybody. It's yeah, time. Okay. Let me see if I can unpack this. Um, Episode 20. Uh, Musu Gundam, The Witch from Mercury. The End of Hope. As a reference, next week's called What We Can Do Now? Okay. Now. I'm going to be perfectly honest here. Episode 19 and episode 20 seems to me like these episodes are establishing that what Marine has done has full consequences and they're on full display for everyone to see. Now, if anyone wants to dislike this video, go right ahead. Now, I'm not going to, I, I really want to, I want to throw her under the bus. Literally, and get her run over because the decisions she made were bad, really, really bad. Because going to Earth with the aerial Gundam that was stupid, very, very stupid, and not realizing, yeah, this woman's wearing a mask. Maybe you should be more cautious. Okay, let's get back to business at hand of what happened in this episode. End of hope. Now, Shattuck. Okay, this guy, listen, I, I understand your problem. Okay, fine. You know, he, he also hates Spaceians, apparently. But his reasoning for attacking... Oh, Marilyn is on Earth, and she's corrupted. Okay. Huh? Well, basically, we, we get we get like the mid meats and potatoes in the beginning because we get like a recap. Marilyn's ridiculous. I'm trying not to, to. Like I said, I got a dislike last week. And I'm trying not to hate on this character, but her decision making is stupid. She's very, very stupid. She needs to go back to school and know how to make better decisions. Anyway, you see her in the beginning of the recap. We see Noria, the rich from Earth. Um, and then we go straight into Ghoul. Um Anyway, cool, and he's going to go after Shaq. Now, what's his face from the Caldaria? I can't believe I said that correctly. Kanenji says you can't do that because we need to find Shaddock's father, Sarius, because we need proof that he actually did this, which is the whole thing regarding the plant attack and the attack on the school. What I find interesting, though, is in this episode, Shattuck does this a third time. There's the, well, not attack on the school, but he did attack somewhere. First attack was on the plant. Second attack was on the school when they uh, had Sophie and whatnot. And the third attack happens in this episode. Sorry for spoilers. So I find that very interesting that it's basically a 3-3, three, three, you know, thing. Like, you know, three strikes and you're out kind of deal. So what ends on happening is, let's get into the meat and potatoes with Shattuck and Google. Very good mobile suit fight, I must say. That doesn't involve Gundams. I'm very impressed. You know what I'm really impressed, though, is Ghoul's mobile suit. It, it, it feels like the way it moves and the way it fights, it almost feels like, you know, it, not, it doesn't have funnels, but those beam sabers that he controls, and he's able to, that's pretty awesome. It was a very good mobile suit fight. I really enjoyed it. So kudos on the... Uh, People involved with with the Wish for Mercury and putting that together, really top notch stuff. Um, the other parts that happen in this episode, we have Saletta. She, 
Uh, you know, she's distraught because of her, well, not her mother, mostly, well, mother, Ariel, Mary, you know. And then we see Petra, the girl who has a thing for, um, Landra, who is Ghoul's brother, younger brother. And she's helping her with her lessons and whatnot. And she thanks her for saving her, saving them during the demo school. So they develop something that doesn't go anywhere. Kind of. But I'll get to it soon. The other parts in this episode we have, we have basically, um, I'm trying to remember now. We have Martin getting interrogated. <laughs> I love this guy, Martin. He gets so burned by uh, what's her face. It's just hilarious. It's great about about Ariel Gundam and who's piloting it. He doesn't know. So that that we had that bit. And the rest is this. Oh my God! This. Listen, Shattuck. I, I don't want to. I don't want to call bullshit. But if the reason why you're doing this is because of Marine, eh, really? I mean, no, I, I just really his his beef. It, he has major beef with Spaceians. He does, and he wants to take control of the power that they have, and so on and so forth. So what ends on happening? The real meat of potatoes of this episode is Shadow's confrontation with Ghoul. Like I said before, Mobile Suit Gundam, the Mobile Suit. Battle was freaking amazing. Really top-notch stuff. His, I don't even recall these girls are with him. And they're fighting the Caldaria. And he decides to let Elin, Noria, and Nika go. Bad move. So, Noria, she is... <sighs> Forget it. You might as well just call her Cyber New Type, Pluto, and everything of above. Of psychotic, I'm going to kill everyone. Elon tries to coax her down. Doesn't work. Nika leaves, and she, you know, eventually meets up with everybody else. So they let her know where to go, and she literally goes into the school and starts shooting everyone. Like, literally. Like, Jesus. Did Tomino make this episode? <laughs> I wanted to say that. Like, Tomino, I... This has got his hands on the, 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 the show, you know. But, you know, you know. But, you know, the writer is the one who did Code Geass, so I'm not, I'm not that surprised. So she starts shooting up everything. She starts killing people. It's really just... And we have the guy, Jerdirk, Jernik the Caldera, and they're there, and they're fighting against them, and there's a lot of destruction, a lot of chaos. Soleta is with Petra. Now, the thing about this scene is that it's not like... I mean, she's hurt, but there's no confirmation. So there's like a big... You know, rumble and everything. They're running away and there's a destructive beam saber or something hits the, the school and a lot of rocks come on top of them. So let us fine, but she doesn't know where Petra is. Now we see her with rocks on top of her and she's bleeding. But we're not really can confirmation here if she's dead or not. Other people are dead. Now... The battle continues, it continues, it continues. Eventually, Elon is able to coax down um, Noria. Until the Caldaria, goon number one, two, he gets a blast right through the cockpit for, uh, what's your face? Of course, Elon goes psycho and he starts shooting everyone, and he just disappears. So I'm guessing Elon is now going to become, well, he's the clone, evil, to a certain extent. 
So that happens. The conclusion to the ghoul fight with, with Shattuck, it ends. And he's able to defeat him. And they get him. He's arrested. He's arrested. The other girls are arrested. Uh, I don't know what, what the, you know, the court system is in this series, in this universe. But attacking a school and causing mass death, I don't think you're going to get off. No, no. So they get caught. Um, and we see Sorry says, my foolish son. <laughs> so, when this all happens, Mika shows back up. I forgot to mention the choo-choo. Choo-choo. She shows up. She gets a, a mobile suit from, um, that sexy lady. I forgot her name. And she ends up fighting as well. But then the fighting stops, as I said before. Now, Soletta... Uh, Nika is going to want to apologize to her, but she says, not right now. And she says, I have to help find... She basically wants to find survivors. So she starts lifting boulders from the wreckage, and they're going to help her. And that's the episode. Now, honestly, I kind of saw this coming. You can't really have two villains here. But then again, Shock really isn't the villain. I mean, he's... He's there, and you could call him an antagonist, but he didn't really have any involvement. And you see, this is the problem I'm having with the show right now. Now, I know I mentioned a, a couple of episodes ago about, oh, so let us just jettison out of the plot. Now... Yes and no. She's still in the mix, but I don't like... It's like, she's the main freaking character. And I think I... Oh, I understand. Character development. We need to have character development. That's fine. But eventually, you gotta stop that. Because there's chaos everywhere. There's chaos on Earth. There's chaos at the school. I mean... Oh, I forgot one mention also. Ghoul's brother? He knows. Because Shattuck told him through the communicator that Ghoul killed their father. So that's another thing that's just going to be like, holy shit. But they basically, you know, as I said, they're, they're... See, the decisions that were made in episodes 17 and 18 are one of the most stupidest decisions I think in this series. Now, I know people are going to say dislike. Oh, I'm going to dislike this video because this guy said that. But the fact of the matter is this. You're trusting someone. Someone tells you to go to Earth to stop the rights. We'll bring Aerial Gundam. Yeah. No. That is stupid. Why would you do that? Mary, are you that dumb? Don't you know who she is? Prospera? You don't you think she might, you know, do something drastic? Listen, I'm not, I don't want to hate on Marion, but she put herself in harm's way. It caused a big huff. Shattuck was upset about it, and he attacks Ghoul, and they attack the school. Ghoul school. So everyone who died, I don't want to say this. Everyone who died on that campus, that blood is on Marilyn's hands. Because she put herself in danger and that forced Shattuck to make a move. Come on! Not to mention the fact that, yeah, you were trying to protect Saletta. Good job, by the way. She almost freaking died. She didn't, but that's not the point. The episode was good, 10 out of 10. But I just feel like some characters in this show are really, they're not using this. Now, beside the point, like I said, I'm not, let's wait and see. 
you know, we still got a lot of episodes left. We still got five. Next one's called What We Can Do Now. And I'll be like, yeah, I know what you can do. You can find a mobile suit Gundam and go to Earth and, and stop your mother. <laughs> uh, that's probably not going to happen. But it seems like next week, it's probably them going to find the bodies, find survivors. Um, they're going to have a trial. <laughs> Freaking Shaq's done. He's, like, he's over. He's like, uh, like I said before, I don't know what the court system in this universe is. But <laughs> I doubt he's getting off. Especially his father. His father's like <sniffs> that, that, that is like the most that is the most hardest thing I could think of ever seeing in a Gundam series. You kidnap your father, they caught you on attacking the the, the area, the school. And the father's like, my foolish son. You know that father's going to be like, yeah, fry his ass. Ha! But, you know, I, I'm going to give, I'm giving this a chance. I, 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 I like what's happening here. I like that we got this episode because this was pretty impactful. You know, last week we got good, 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 you know, scenes of, of, of uh, damage, of, um, War crimes. Here we got a, a big time uh, chaos happening. So there's there's a lot of things to delve in here. As far as Elon's concerned, I really think he might come back um, to try and attack the Caldarius. Look out for that. Um, maybe even join with Prospera. Who knows? That might have been possible. But overall, good episode. I just... Marion. Eh. I want to... I honestly want everyone's opinion. Listen, people, comment down below. What are your general thoughts on Marion's character? I might even do another video. By the way, this week I have only three days I'm working. So, I'm probably going to do that on Thursday. Do a video on Marion as a character. And just, you know, just get some insight. Because, eh, huh. This is Mivankai 922. Lot of death! I think Toby Doe directed this episode. I think he did. I'll see you guys later. Peace.